Hi guys, I hope you are at home and safe because of this coronavirus. We are supposed to stay at home. We are in a lockdown and I hope you guys are safe and healthy and at home. So let's learn how to make digital art on our Android phone. And this time I'll be teaching you how to make digital art on Adobe Photoshop Sketch. So let's begin. You can try each and every brush out. This has to be your decision which brush suits you the best or your art style the best. This application is new for me as well. So I'll be trying new things too. Here I'm creating this artwork of a girl with a flower as head and I'm trying different brushes like which one will suit the best as an outline. So here I'm settling with this one and I'll just make basic outline tracing the image below. This application is similar to um, Adobe Illustrator Draw. Like they're both somewhat similar but this one has better brushes like watercolor brush etc so you can blend stuff out and yeah. Adobe Illustrator Draw is better for vector art and this one is better for a full fledged artwork like if you want to do blending and make landscapes sort of things so here I'm just making the outline improving erasing all the lines that I don't need and yeah you can see this is easy if you practice and since we are at home and we have plenty of time so you can easily devote some time into this and maybe learn how to create digital art I also got better by practicing and practicing and I'm still learning new things and new techniques. Adobe Photoshop Sketch has similar um, shortcuts as Adobe Illustrator Draw. If you swipe two fingers to your left, then, then it will undo what you did. And if you swipe your two fingers to the right side, it will redo. So yeah, these shortcuts come in handy while you're drawing. You can see I'm just trying to make the tiny details as well so that it comes out beautiful or rather <laughs> um, a bit presentable because details matter and because of the details it will look nicer. I would suggest you guys to try it out yourself. I mean this tutorial is pretty self explanatory and you just have to give it a shot and try it yourself so that you can realize what are the issues that you're facing or what are your doubts and you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help.
unlike adobe illustrator draw you cannot press and hold to fill the colors in this app you have to um, color it yourself so in some cases it is a plus point but when you have to color a bigger space that has to be a solid color then you have to keep on you know um, swiping your finger to color in the whole thing but it's fine i guess this application has really nice brushes like this smudge one and you can hold on a brush and then a number of brushes will appear which you can check out and see which one is the best I like watercolor brush and the smudge or spray brush the best. Also the marker brush is really nice if you want to um make straight lines and precise defined lines. Here I'm erasing all the extra color that I, all the mess that I made while coloring it. adding the background using the watercolor brush and um, this is it you can do the shading you can add the background you can just create this artwork however you want i hope you enjoyed the tutorial thank you so much for watching in case you have any queries you can send me a dm on at the rate bemuse damsel or you can comment down below and ask anything if you have any trouble using this application bye bye